is dead. I saw a really funny meme about like all the all the chud crab. They're like me watching everybody uh, slide slide back into NPCism after speaking out about the uh, the pandemic, and it was just like I forget what the, the meme was, but it was like. All those people just went right back into NPC mode. Like they were talking about it, and you're like, you're saying the right stuff. Yeah, I, those are very valid points. We should look into X, Y, and Z more. And then they just go right back into NPC mode. And both sides do this constantly. It's like they'll like they'll touch on something over here, and then they'll just be like complete soup head, like on the next current thing. It's almost like they draw straws, and it's like, ah, oh, shit. Oh, uh, we got to go with NPC mode on this current thing. All right, I'll get the next current thing. <laughs> Fuck. So we didn't... Uh, Mike Johnson was on the campus. Place. So, thank you all for being here. To Why he decided to show up, I have no idea. Why he decided to come here and think this is a good idea. Today, we have uh, several members of Congress here. And we're here today at one of America's preeminent academic institutions on a very important day and a very important time. Throughout history, Columbus... After meeting with Jewish students... So not a very... Good they have mocked them and they reviled them. They have shouted racial epithets. They have screamed at those who bear, bear the Star of David. Enjoy your free speech. Look at his face, dude. Enjoy your free speech. While it still and lasts. Enjoy your free crying. speech while it still lasts. That's the intended statement. At least. Enjoy your free speech. They have he just looks so... He looks so mad. Like, internally mad. This man went on to say that, that the repeat the lie that Babies were cooked in ovens. This was the debunk. Oh month. yeah, the he said this, this again. Month, he said it twice in twenty four hours. This is the first time he said it at the speech. Children were savagely raped and murdered, and infants were cooked in ovens. That's ridiculous. We could just have full on like U.S. politicians just straight up lying. But if you say anything bad, that's happens to be true but criticizes Israel then that's it you're done you're you're canceled and your 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 social media account gets deleted or suspended and it's over yep pretty much Elon Musk retweeted Netanyahu himself today so yeah that's why that's why like I'm sorry guys like this guy was never on your side I know some of y'all thought like maybe he was your savior. There's no savior. Nobody's coming to save you. Donald Trump's not coming to save you. Joe they Biden's not coming to save you. They used to call this guy Maga you. Mike Johnson. Yep, Maga Mike Johnson. And you know what? Nobody's coming to save you. We got to save ourselves. Fuck. I'm tired of I, I'm tired of people still buying into this ridiculous LARP. I'm sorry. Let's watch him. On There's a lot going this morning on in Congress right Let's now. Go. Um, you've chosen to travel to New York, and uh, as you were just out on those steps calling for the resignation of the president of here. Of oh, there was one thing I wanted to point out before we uh, dive into that one. So, <clears throat> in like obvious response to the booing, <laughs> so my you know Mike Johnson getting booed here in Colombia. AOC's quote tweet is good. He's trying to take all the rep reproductive rights away. Mm -hmm. Like, yeah, yeah, sure. That's the reason why they're getting fucking, <laughs> why he's getting booed in, at Columbia University. What are they protesting? What are they protesting? That's, that's why this person isn't on your side because she's taking this and she's like, ooh, okay. <clears throat> uh, not a great look, but I need to pivot this away from why they're really booing him because she can't reveal. Nice. <laughs> the thing is, <clears throat> she can't reveal how close to on the same side she is as these fuckers. She's got to pretend that she isn't on the same side. So, yeah. And that's the little comment right there. 
She needs to pivot to another talking point because she can't just clearly say like, oh, you're getting booed because of this reason, because that's verboten. That's not allowed. So she has to pivot to like, oh, yeah, reproductive rights. And it's like, well, hold on. What? Like, why are you even bringing that up? How is that relevant? Like in this particular situation? Oh, it's not at all. Okay. Like, I'm so I compl- I'm sorry, I just completely see through this shit. Yeah, there has to be, like, that, there's no other reason why she brought that up than exactly what you just said. Because there, it makes zero sense. In, in, in She's in pivoting. Context. She just She's pivoting. Because she, she can't. Be she needs to of be. Of course. Done. But yeah. she can't, she can't signal, like, any kind of solidarity with the other, like, half of the pro wrestling show. So she's got to be like, oh, well, yeah, it's about abortion. No, it's not. But you can't actually clap him for the real reason why he's getting booed. Because the people you actually work for, the people whose side you're actually on, don't want you to do that. Because we got to keep the pro wrestling going. And that's that's all this is. That's all it's ever been, for fuck's sake. <sighs> <clears throat> Yeah. Sorry, guys. I guess I just keep getting angrier. Um, There was heckling. There was shouting. It was not a warm reception. Enjoy your free speech. Were you surprised at all by what happened? Well, there was a sea of students who apparently have been involved in the protest here, and I'm not surprised that they didn't welcome our visit because we're calling out their activities. What the, the point we tried to make today is that this is not who we are as Americans. This is not. Uh, an expression of the First Amendment. This is not an exchange of ideas. This is this is threats and intimidation of violence. They're trying to. They're real. Okay, so the new talking point. They're saying that this is not free speech mm. against Jewish students for who they are, for for their faith, and that's a terrible trend that's going on in the country right now. We have these similar types of activities and 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 what are becoming violent protests on campuses around the country. And members of Congress, I believe, have an obligation, a responsibility to speak about this and to um, and to demand that it come to an end because it's not good for us. The main thing they were chanting was free Palestine. How is that anti-Semitic? Well, what's anti-Semitic is that Hamas endorsed this protest today. Within the- pivot. They have to pivot because he can't talk about the free Palestine thing. Because then he's got to go into all of the shit that he can't talk about. They so he's got to, it's always the pivot. word. They no, can't, they can't even say they the can't. fucking word Palestine. They don't, they, they're not allowed to say it. They have a list no. of words that they cannot say. This is literally true. Even in the New York Times, they, there's a New York Times leak about that. And again, it's, it's the exact same play. Think about Iraq. Any criticism for, like for Iraq at all? Al Qaeda, bin Laden. Those are the pivots. Like, there's always a pivot to a magical bad guy to distract from the bullshit you're doing. That's all. It's It's been the same play this whole time. And the fact that people are actually still falling for this is depressing. People, sh- it's, it's people should dere- fucking know deranged. better. It's deranged, honestly. Last two hours, got Hamas derangement statement and heralded the students here and said, These, this is the next generation of leadership in America. Um, if you're getting endorsed by Hamas, that's not a good look. It's not a good sign. Some of these students apparently are unaware of the atrocities on like the 7th, or they're denying <laughs> it. They deny that women and children were brutally raped and murdered, that infants were placed into ovens and cooked alive. The things that happen there are unspeakable, and yet they're out there waving flags for no, the very people that. who committed those atrocities. This is, this is not who we are. Wait, but what it's flags? Like, hold, on. Days, hold, um, on. hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. You could smell the death. Hold up. So he's like, they're out there waving flags. Are they waving Hamas flags? Or are they waving? Because you see this too, they hop back and forth. It's like, oh, they're out there like waving flags. It's like, but are they waving Hamas flags? Are they saying like I stand with Hamas? They're not, right? They're they're going back to the whole like free Palestine thing. That's kind of the point, isn't it? But he's got to he's got to hop back and forth because his job is just to push a narrative to push a na- sorry <laughs> to push a narrative. Yeah, the twist, too. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, the twist. 
He's just got to hammer a narrative forward. And you see, this is why I call these people pretzel people. They'll they'll become anything they can just to keep pushing the point forward. And that's the point he's probably paid to push forward. That, like, this is okay because magical boogeyman. And it's it's always the same shit. There's always a magical boogeyman that you point to and that gives you free reign to do whatever fucking atrocities you can. And it's hilarious that they mention Hitler and other fascists because this was their go-to play every time. And people still can't put the fucking pieces together. They're right there. It's, it's a three-piece puzzle, sir. It's not 500 pieces. It's going to take you two seconds. Just put them together. It's just crazy to me that he repeated this open lie twice within less than 24 hours. Like, what kind of telegraph? This is not who we are. Speaking flags for the very people who committed those atrocities. The unspurted that infants were placed into ovens and cooked alive. That never went. There's no evidence Liter for this. Literally never happened. He just, like, the this things is that like, happened there. and they all clapped. Like, <laughs> hey, babies in ovens. Like, Let's just make up, like, the most, like, cartoonishly horrible thing ever. You know what? I, I just figured it out. You know why, like, they have to do babies in ovens? Because the actual children dying that are on footage, they need to outdo that. Because they know people are seeing actual kids dying. So they're like, what tops kids dying from bombs? What if we cooked them like they were fucking pizza? Like... Like, like, you know, what that's the what they're doing. They're like, what if we microwave the babies? That would be better than normal babies. <laughs> Do you remember when Ben Shapiro <laughs> sh like shared that that AI image of a puppy, and it, it was like a burnt baby. It was supposed to be like a burnt baby. Yeah. <laughs> they yeah, can't like, even get their fucking lies straight, man. They can't. Yeah, like, it was horrific. They gotta make the bullshit. Golden rule of fascism, you have to make your bullshit, because it's always bullshit, by the way. That's that's their tool. You gotta make your bullshit worse than what's actually happening. You have to make it worse. You can't put it on the same level. You gotta make it worse because the whole point of fascists is to remain in control. That's why we're getting these like, I don't know, babies in in air fryers with, with garlic and they're in air fucking air fryer babies are just random them in. <laughs> just fucking make wing baby is that what like that's how far they're gonna take this they're and making what's entire coats of and there's a student here a phd student at columbia i wanted to quote him he is jewish Why? he has written a testimonial about what's going on here right God now damn his experience it. on campus and, and he says i'll read it to you the most pressing threats to our safety as jewish students do not come from tents on campus. We should be focusing on the material reality of war, the munitions our government is sending to Israel, which kill Palestinians by the thousands, and the Americans participating in the violence. Do you think that protesting the humanitarian catastrophe in Gaza, protesting the tens of thousands of innocent people who have died there, is anti-Semitic in and of itself? I think there's always a place for debate in the free exchange of ideas, but let's not equivocate on what's happening in Hamas with Hamas and in Gaza. This is a battle, as Netanyahu said. In Hamas? Netanyahu said between Dude, good versus evil. Pause that for a sec. Then what's he just about? fucked up? He just fucked up his words. See, this is your point from earlier. He said in Hamas. What do you mean in Hamas? Hamas isn't a place. He just said in he, Hamas. He, uh, Gaza. He fucked his words up. He meant to say Gaza. But his NPC brain is programmed. If <laughs> if it's it's, it's it's an it's an if statement. Like if if Gaza or Palestine equals true, Hamas. It, he, he is a walking if statement. He is one line in Visual Studio. Okay, that's it. He just gave the game away right there. He fucked his words up. He meant to say in Gaza, he said in Hamas, because his brain is short circuiting. And like this is this is why it sucks to be an NPC. Because eventually your brain cannot handle the NPCism and it it, it it supervises the words. And then you have like assholes like me yelling about you on a it's fucking screen. Soup of talking points. 
It's it's the Manatee South Park episode. It's the same thing. <laughs> Except the Manatee is drunk, and that's why you get this fucking idiot with his stupid looking glasses. Why don't you get some glasses like mine, by the way? You look like my grandmother. Okay? I'm not gonna listen to my grandmother about terrorism. She was wrong every fucking time. God damn it. All right. I'm gonna I'm gonna just keep like getting angry. Let's I don't know how much going. longer you can listen to this asshole, but I'm gonna let me see. Evil light versus darkness, civilization versus what the fuck is this language we're talking about? Light Lightness versus, versus darkness? darkness? Let's not equivocate on what's happening in Hamas with Hamas and in Gaza. This is a battle, as Netanyahu said, Prime Minister Netanyahu said, between good versus evil, light versus darkness, civilization versus barbarism. This is what the fuck is this race? That is some racist Arab. What did you? Hear I'm that? gonna be honest, I think he's like. I think he's saying the quiet word out loud there. I th I don't think he meant to, but I think that was like a slip where it's like light versus darkness. Oh, you mean like the white people oppressing the darker people like we've always done. Oh, okay. I get it. Yeah, that's that's fascism. So it, it tracks. Good job. It's literally like a star. Grandma glasses. Grandma's. <laughs> This isn't a close call. We have terrorists who preyed upon and attacked viciously and killed many innocent Israelis. And the idea that they would be out here in support of that, Hamas is using civilians as, as uh, shields for themselves. They put their, their operations They're using under. them as coats. They're using them. You know what? Hamas just made its very first baby blanket. It's a blanket <laughs> made of nothing but babies. There's 26,000 babies in this one blanket that totally happened. Okay? They go to bed with this big baby blanket every night. <laughs> fucking soup. I'm sorry. Did you ever see that meme image of like like so literally cool. like a Hamas soldier with the babies like it's at like like literally as like body shields? Yeah, dude, it's like it's like World of Warcraft. You know, the breastplate of babies. It's like plus fifteen stamina, plus like, like old, how it's like plus one stamina, plus one. No, it's you, you probably have like embodiment a little bit, depending on how many babies are attacked. Minus like twenty five charisma, minus sixteen <laughs> intelligence. Yeah, it's not a it's a tank item. It's not like a caster item. Um, yeah, no, it's you 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 just you just you just toss and then you know sell it for trash and get yeah. It's vendor loop for sure. <laughs> Hospitals and schools, they, they are they are using civilians in a theater of war. And so it's difficult. Why would someone blame Israel for trying to stamp out the very terrorist threats that are right there on the doorstep? We should not be dictating to Israel their military strategy. We should be supporting our ally, which is the only stable democracy. Is in there the anything East. Israel could do that would be over the line for you? Because when, when you talk about stamping it out, I mean, many innocent children Dude, this man is like on a script. Like he's he's on drugs. I'm I'm sure they they jack him up with something because like he's he memorizes these lines like verbatim. No, like, dude, he's he's not on drugs. He's literally snorting ground up babies. Um, <laughs> like because like he's pro he's projecting because that's what Hamas does, right? They they snort uh like powdered powdered baby they have like a big can it's like uh costco you get it at costco like powdered powdered uh powdered baby yeah so that's what's that's the play i think it's cheaper it's cheaper yeah no the that's how you get the adrenochrome yeah no the doubt babies <laughs> yeah he's you're right have died and are maybe that's why hamas has so much power and that's why they control the world and control the UN and control everything. It's because they have the adrenochrome from all the dead babies. That's a bad joke. Maybe, maybe that's like the that that could be the projection. That's why they keep talking about like babies in various scenarios. This eventually is, they're gonna have to like evolve past babies. They're gonna have to talk about like fetuses or like, I'm waiting. Know, like, I'm souls. waiting for like I'm waiting for like what not what I have in here. Like what is, what is there that I that we haven't heard? I mean, it's gonna keep. Say, I, like, I'm waiting. I'm waiting until I'm waiting until like the ridiculousness ends at any point. But 
I feel like they're going to hit Israel's hands and the idea. Like, with the, there's the, only they have. There have been civilians murdered, but that is not the fault of Israel. It's the fault of the terrorists, the Hamas uh, operators and soldiers, yeah, the terrorists who have used these people and put them into harm's way. Israel, I'm convinced. A hospital is putting people into harm's way is doing its very best to prevent civilian casualties. But this is a war, and they're fighting for their very existence, and they are not the aggressors. It is the other side. Some of the people here seem not to understand that, and I, I think that's a real problem. We can debate the merits of all these things, but what they're doing here is intimidating Jewish students. That's the thing that is so problematic. Again, not happening. None of this is happening. All right, so let me ask you about that, because when it comes to that, the NYPD, at least as of Monday, <clears throat> said they've not received a single... Uh, call from Columbia University of reports of any physical harm. Well, no physical harm. It, it, right, but you. None of this is happening. No, None and just like, happening. just as a note, I would like people to remember what I said about liberals. We're on CNN right now. There's a CNN person, uh, like delivering these criticisms. They will then tell you to vote for the person who is directly responsible for enabling this. That is how liberals operate. Okay? Very, this is all pro wrestling. Okay? They're both, both these people are on the same side. It's just one side needs to pretend they're on your side so they get consent from you to proceed with all the bullshit they're doing. That's it. That's what a true is. True elite person does. They play both sides. Yep. You have to speak to these Jewish students who are in fear of their lives, who are cowering and physical harm. All from Columbia University of reports of any physical harm. Well, no physical harm. Right, but you have to speak to these Jewish students who are in fear of their lives, who are cowering in their apartments right now. Over what? Who are not coming to class. In fact, the administration recognized the threat was so great, they canceled classes. Now they've come out with this hybrid idea. Well, if you're Jewish, maybe you do want to stay at home. Maybe it'd be better off for you. But it's so discriminatory. It's so wrong in every way. The responsibility of a university administrator is to keep peace on campus and ensure the safety of students. Job number one. If they're incapable of doing that, then you need different leadership. I, I think this is time for a really strong hand. I'm trying to understand, though, why, as Speaker of the House, this is an issue you would want to get involved with. It's a private university. <laughs> it's an issue happening here. Why is this something that you are choosing to get involved in and calling for the removal of the, a president of a private university? Well, they, they receive federal funding as well. And I'm betting, <clears throat> and I'm trying to like still figure this out, like someone here, like in Congress right now, like has a has a son or a daughter in that goes to Columbia right now. I mean, we already see Omar's daughter goes to Bernard, which is like right next door. Everything he's saying is made up. But I'm betting that like the crackdown on Columbia is due to someone related like with like strong relations to both israel and like the united states like government is like that's that's where they're that's where they got this all but say hi kitty kitty say hi stormy oh kitty no. Dude, what's that one thing? Shit off the floor. stormy stormy oh can you stop showing people stormy. your butthole please thank you no they always love they always love the butthole show <laughs> I don't care. Congress is low. Yeah. Um. Again, <clears throat> all of these aspects to determine how. Are you gonna say something? Can I predict? Can I predict what's gonna happen next? Okay. He, he's gonna say, and by the way, just so you're aware, that whole university was actually built from the ground up with babies. <laughs> That's they built. It was built by Hamas. With babies, they found enough babies to build the whole structure. That's how many babies have been built. <laughs> okay, we were able to finance the resources with all the adrenochrome that we have. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Hamas, Hamas. How they're using those funds? Is that appropriate? If they can't uh, fulfill their basic obligations, I don't think the American taxpayers want to be funding this kind of thing. Man, if Joe was still around, you'd be having a field day. 
We know that professors are, are uh, engaging in this as well, some of the professors. Some have been supportive of the Jewish students, but I believe it's a small subset for what I've told. Um, they've allowed this to go on, and it is not okay for the American people. This isn't a, a partisan issue. This is about right and wrong, and we've got to call it for what it is. And so when, when people talk about genocide and say that Israel is engaging in genocide, do you think that that is a legitimate conversation? That they he's already shaking his head, like really. And he's like, look at the... Look at the, okay. I want to pay attention now. He's shaking his head, and then he he uh, he does like a little gulp, like like he swallows. Check out the swallow. He's en engaging in genocide. Do you think that that is that a swa that he's nervous? He's got a gun to his head for sure. Exactly because like because that's the thing. They're in the fucking wrong. This he is knows he's in the wrong. It? He knows this is all in the wrong and. <clears throat> Right and wrong. For the first time in a long is. time, so they when, can't when... control the narrative around it. So he's got to look. Think of all the pivots he's done just in this conversation. They're getting nervous. People talk about genocide and say that Israel is yep. en engaging in genocide. Do you think that that is a legitimate conversation that they should be allowed to have as part of First Amendment rights here? Or well, no? of course. Look, That's two swallows in like nine seconds. I was a yeah. First Amendment lawyer for 20 years. I went to the courts and defended the, the, our First Amendment freedoms, religious expression, the right of free speech on campus. I litigated those cases. Of course, the university is supposed to be the free marketplace of ideas. But when you shout down and physically threaten with intimidation and threats of violence the other side, that is not a, a peaceful expression, uh, a peaceful, peaceful exchange of ideas. That's something very different, and that's what we're saying they need to get control of. When they camp out around the campus and they prevent students from exercising their rights, mm -hmm. that's the problem. Before you go, um, obviously we're here in New York as there's been threats to your speakership back in Washington. Um, what does it say about your standing as speaker that you are here at Columbia University dealing with this issue right now? The Speaker of the House is, has a, a very important constitutional responsibility. It's, it's an, an officer listed in the Constitution. The Speaker speaks for the House of Representatives, and I felt it was very important, important for that voice to be heard. Not just about what happens at Columbia, but about what is happening right now around the country. And, and we have to stand unequivocally for the right and the good. And I'm calling on all my colleagues on both sides of the aisle to speak out against this. Not to not to uh, endorse it, not to, um, to to coddle these people, but to say this has to stop. We have to treat every single person with dignity and respect, and that's not happening here, and it's an atrocity. A couple of notes. This could be a feign, like a put on, or it could just be like his actual. Couple psych notes here. So if, okay. if you guys go to this video, go from the beginning. Notice around the middle to the end. He's, he keeps breaking eye contact. That is an unconscious like signal that he is he's he's actually out of talking points. He's out of like <clears throat> he's lost control and he's trying to figure out a way to get back to in control. And she let him off the hook like a million times, obviously. But that's liberals for you, like I said. But if you look towards the end. He starts speaking, he starts maintaining eye contact really good at the beginning. By the end, he's breaking it constantly. There's this constant like break of eye contact. Liars do that when they're looking for a, a way to lie out of a lie that's not working. That's all I'll say on that. Go back, check it out. First thing I noticed, that is a liar. 